I was not allowed to get my ears pierced as a kid, so I went and got 50, you know, after the fact. Then I got uh, my nipples pierced twice. Don't ask me why, I must be a glutton for punishment. Hi, I'm Eva Marcel, and this is my Woman's Health Body Scan. What I love most about my body is that it's mine. It's my choice, it fluctuates, and it's beautiful however it is. Why? Because we only get one. Well, unless you go to the doctor. But even still, that's like minor corrections or assistance. You're not gonna get a new body, so. I love my body because God gave it to me and it's perfect how it is. So I am a inked woman, they would call me. I have 23 tattoos. Now, there's a story behind each of them, but my favorite tattoo and most notable is the 38 revolver and a gun holster on my right hip, or left hip, or, yeah. It's that many tattoos. I tattooed it on my hip. So the wood grain, the everything. And uh, just make sure they know I stay strapped. It's for your health. <laughs> Women's health. <laughs> I mean, it's jokes, but it's so serious. First of all, I am a tomboy from South Central Los Angeles with three brothers. The question is, do I have skin that is not scarred? I got in a really bad motorcycle accident. As soon as I won America's Next Top Model, I got my first club offer, $30,000 cash, to host a party for one hour for New Year's. I almost flew myself there. I was so excited. I get down there. I'm just learning how to ride bikes. I should not have been on this bike. I was dating a guy at the time. We're going across the bridge um, to the Marriott Biscayne Bay. I can, ne I can never forget this. And I was going down a one way, and it was a good turn. And then as we turned back around that way, it turned into a two-way. Personally, the street should have said something like, hi, I'm going to turn into a two-way. But it didn't say anything. It just hit me, an envoy. I got hit by an envoy, flew off of the motorcycle, thought I broke my neck, my back, my collarbone. It was bad. My whole body was scarred up. But the biggest scar I had on my leg, and it was in the shape of a J. Two weeks after that, I was supposed to go to Toronto to shoot my first TV show ever. Terrified, I'm in a hospital bed. Well, years later, thanks to Scar Away, <laughs> that scar is a little bitty J now, but it was huge on my leg. It was huge, I'll never forget that. It was bad. And no, I have not gotten back on a motorcycle. And there's not enough money or a party that I will host that will pay me to do so. Yes, I am pierced. I have a conch. That's that middle piece right here. I have four up my ear here. I have two there. Now, I was the only girl growing up and my parents, I don't know if they thought earrings made a girl sexy. I, I mean, I don't know what the thing was, but I was not allowed to get my ears pierced as a kid, so I went and got 50, you know, after the fact. Then I got uh, my nipples pierced twice. Don't ask me why, I must be a glutton for punishment. And I mean, you're not right if you don't get your navel pierced, so I had that pierced. And then I had my tongue pierced until I cracked a tooth in the back and then decided maybe that's not the best idea because it didn't come with a dental plan or insurance. But it was cute, but I don't know why I did it. So when it comes to my beauty regimen, I try to keep it very tight and on schedule, but I'm a very busy woman. My schedule fluctuates. However, I do have a standing appointment every other Thursday at 11 o'clock with Nell Mannard in Atlanta. If she's not there, I'm going to find her. I do not let anyone else touch my cuticles. I do not play reindeer games when it comes to my nails, even around Christmas. Now, when I get nervous, I bite like the sides of my nails, which is why my nails are long, because if I allow my nails to stay short, I will bite away. It affects my teeth and my periodontist calls, and you know, it's just a domino effect. So we're gonna go ahead and keep some inches. Skincare. So in the words of the great Iman, it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that skin. Skin is so important. It shows your health, what's going on inside of your body, um, and it really helps you take care of yourself from hyperpigmentation to wrinkles to pimples to all of that. I wear more makeup than the average bear, and I wear it every single day or every other day. And because of that, taking care of my skin is something I don't play about. I have a standing weekly appointment with Jamisa Buchanan, the most amazing esthetician in Atlanta. My pores are shrunk every week by Jamisa. And if I don't do anything 
if for some crazy reason I had to skip my nail appointment, if for some crazy reason I didn't get my massage in, or if I didn't run today, I promise you one thing I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna do anything, is get my face done. I do not play about my skin at all. I mean, black don't crack. I gotta keep up the, you know, that's the motto. So I gotta keep it up. Now, when it comes to your skin, having a great esthetician is only part of it. It's like having a good dentist, right? You have to go home and do your stuff, like floss for your teeth. Well, when it comes to your skin, when you wear makeup, you have to remove your makeup, liner, lashes, all of that stuff, your foundation. And you know, you start bronzing down on your neck and getting down here, well, you have to remove that too. So when it comes to cleaning your skin every single day, I use a couple of products because if you notice sometimes your skin finds its immunity to certain things like you've been using it forever so it doesn't moisturize the same or you've been washing your hair with this so it doesn't like lather the same so you have to switch it out and after you switch it out and then you go back to it so urban skin rx live by swear by olay regenerous what this orange jar i don't know what they've put in this orange jar you can find at all the retailers but it is amazing and if there's anything I could say about skin, one bit, use your sunscreen. For some reason, there's this preconceived notion that if you are a beautiful melanated person like myself, that you don't need SPF. Well, that is a lie from the pit of hell. Get your SPF, because if not, then your black will crack. And I'm just telling you, you don't want that. You gonna mess it up. Well, when it comes to my hair, baby, my crown is my glory. I love my hair. I make sure I lay on a silk pillow. If there's not one there, I bring a pillowcase with me. I have locked hair, as you can see. I've been locked for a year now. My daughter also has locked hair. She's been locked for six years now. And so I like for her to see a proper representation of beautiful women. But I just wanna give her healthy examples of beauty. And what healthier example of beauty than to love the natural you? And so, yeah, I get my hair done every eight weeks. Y'all that don't know this about the locked community, come closer, let me teach you something. So, it's an every like six to eight week process. Your locks thrive when you don't touch them. So the key to my hair is to do nothing, to keep it clean, to keep it moisturized, and let it be. Let's be honest, okay? The pandemic has been hard on everyone. Doesn't matter what color you are, how old you are, how much money you have or don't have, it has been a difficult thing. And I think mental health is something that we are really trying to make sure we keep under control. So when it comes to me and this pandemic, the way I've gotten through it and I'm getting through it is uh, day by day. So I don't really know. I looked up one day and realized I'm not okay. And I realized that others weren't either. And that is okay. It's one of those things where you have to take self inventory. Every day is different. It ebbs and it flows. So to de-stress, I spend a lot of time at home with my family when I'm not on the road. I love music, I love dancing, and my biggest, biggest hobby is cooking. Cooking is my jam. I make Thanksgiving every week if I'm at home. But I cook like jerk a turkey, making oxtails, ribs, fried ribs specifically. I fried the heck out of a rib. Uh, greens, yams, whatever it is, you name it, I can make it. So food is my therapy, cooking food is my therapy. Um, seeing the joy on my kid's face or my husband's face when I made his special this or that. It's the little things that end up helping me get through the pandemic because we don't know really what's going on, but it's just trying to keep your happy. It's beyond sanity at this point. I wanna be happy and I find my happiness with my family.